Okay, so it took us three years, but we're finally back here in Holmes County, Ohio. And it is just as beautiful <laughs> as we both remembered. It is gorgeous here. And of course, we're bringing Simi here for the first time, so that's special. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Here, eat. Say yummy. I can't reach. Where did mommy go? Mm. Yep, mommy went to go get her food. And daddy stayed with you. So I always get a salad at a buffet first. This was no exception. There's this like potato salad and a pasta salad, a macaroni salad type deal I tried, and then of course broccoli, and then the regular salad. So I've got a lot to try. So Cheyenne's experience was, the lady just was like, woo, what next? Woo. So I was like, very specific Cheyenne. I was like, just a little, just a little. Green beans, potatoes, roast beef, fried chicken, and pizza casserole. You want dessert? Mm. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, I can handle that one. See the pigs? That guy is a giant. I think that's the same guy that we saw the last time. Look at him, he's an absolute monster. I think so. <laughs> he don't mind getting petted. He just really wants food more. He wants your food. He wants your food. We get that ear. Nathan, you better get it. No! He said, no! No! Leave me alone! Yes, <laughs> Let's go look at the cow. Boo!
Hello. My name is Lama. I'm a Lama. I have a major issue with an underbite. And I always have a messy hair day. He's eating my clothes. Oh yeah, he can, I guess. Oh man! It's such a hard life. Do you know what it's like to live with an underbite like this, man? It's intense. Look at that underbite. Dude, bro, you need to go see a dentist. Oh, I did. He said there was no hope for me. ago that my wife and I without Simeon even being born came here to Berlin Ohio and put together a little vlog and we gave everybody a look into Ohio's Amish country and so we're back as my wife's already told you Berlin Ohio is the place you want to be if you're looking to find a place to stay to sort of base from if you really want to stay in the middle of the Amish country in Ohio I would suggest that you would stay in either the Grand Hotel in Berlin or the Comfort Inn and Suites there in Berlin, which is very close to where we are actually right now. We're at a place called Hershberger's Farm. And we were here three years ago. They have done so much. They have expanded it. It's way bigger. They have way more animals. And it's just gorgeous. It's definitely a place to stop by and see. Yeah, you definitely. don't want to miss this. All of the major sites are near Berlin. So Charm is near Berlin. There's a lot of shops in Charm. There's this place, which is on your way from Berlin to Charm. Of course, all of the country roads and everything that you see, and you're gonna be seeing in this vlog, you just basically drive around the area of Berlin and around the area of Charm, and you'll see all of this. Well, this is a beautiful place. How yeah, would you compare it to Lancaster? You know, they actually it's say that there's a larger Amish population here than anywhere in the world. But it's also like, quite a bit different than Lancaster, like just the whole landscape and everything. Yeah, say? I would say that there's more higher hills, hills, more rolling you hills. You can get up on high like ledges and... Yeah, and look out and <laughs> see. It's amazing. So really. that's a really good feature here. I would actually say that based on the typography, Ohio is actually... This area of Ohio is more beautiful than even Lancaster. And it's hard to believe because Lancaster is so beautiful. But it doesn't have like, of course, like the outlets like Lancaster has. So that's a big feature that people, when they come on vacation, they like to have that. When you come to this part of the world for the Amish, you truly are coming for the Amish. So you enjoy all of the things that they enjoy. So the food, the cheeses, there's a, there are a couple major cheese uh, factories that we're gonna go to and show you. We've been there before. But I would definitely recommend staying in a hotel or motel that's right in the area, like Berlin, Definitely because you get that experience and you can just like walk out of your room and like go downtown to all the little stores down there Like yeah. all the gift shops and stuff. Yeah. This is the Tourists. name of the place we're at right now it's like Hirschburgers. Hirschburgers. You can see it. Yeah, we highly recommend this place. You definitely need to come here where we ate last night was in Berlin as well and we're gonna actually go back to Berlin uh, this afternoon. We really only have one full day here, so we're trying to cram in as much as possible in one day. But I want you to understand, first, when you're coming to Ohio's Amish country, look for Berlin, okay? Let's go look at that Longhorn. Yeah, I, think, I don't know why we have a Texas in. Longhorn <laughs> in Ohio. That is a big fella. About to enjoy some popcorn. He's not very happy right now. I think he's sleepy. Woo! Look what Daddy's got. Come here. Come here. Mm. Mm. Wow. Bun. 
they grilled the burger, I'm pretty sure. It's a hot. Swift tip rice. No. Baked goods everywhere. Apple fry pie. Strawberry fry pie. Cherry fry pie. Three mother. I love this. You wouldn't know it was cinnamon rolls except for the top the description. Wow. Because they're like Okay, let's just cover it with icing. In icing. I love, love Thomas Butter. All right, I'm gonna try it. Wow. That is my favorite baked cookie cake thing I've ever had. Wow. Mm. You guys are. Is it? Okay, so that cheese place we just passed, it is an amazing place to go in and sample cheeses. Uh, they're world famous for their baby Swiss. So they're world famous for their baby Swiss cheese. And we went in there three years ago when we were in the area and we like sampled all kinds of different cheeses. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get in there just cause we don't have the time. It doesn't look like so. But it's definitely a place we're stopping by for. It's so cool and unique. We're gonna try it. this new place called Kime, new to us. Uh, we didn't go there the last time. We're gonna try to go there this time. It's right here in Charm. And then we're gonna go back to Berlin. So we're trying to do a few things that are new, along with like Hershburgers, which is something we did the last time and we would recommend doing every time you come. Definitely. So. Oh. Swivel glider right there, Cheyenne. Y'all, that is 15 feet across. <laughs> is that your house, buddy? Look at your pretty flowers. Oh, this is the coolest house. Look, look, we can sit and get all comfy and read a book. Noah's Ark. How cool is this place? Come say hi to mommy, look. Hi. 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 <laughs> Don't grow up. It's a trap. You see that sign in there? Uh, so I honestly never thought I'd be saying this. This store actually puts Home Depot and Lowe's to shame. And I love both of those stores. I never, never thought I would say that. But this place has so many more options, so much more professional level equipment to offer its customers. It's like a one-stop shop. It would take you hours to go through this store, speaking man to man. But even the ladies, you should come here and look around. This place is incredible. That was so cool in there. Yeah, I'm rarely like, impressed that much. I wish we had more time because it's like you could spend half a day in there. Look, Simi. So they had like all the Melissa and Doug toys and then they had like all kinds of John Deere tractors, trailers, trucks, all kinds of stuff down one aisle was all like tractor stuff and Simeon was just so excited about it. <laughs> Obviously walking the strip of Berlin, there's far more here that meets the eye. You would be very surprised. And we mentioned the Grand Hotel earlier. That's it, right there. Right in the heart of Amish country here in Ohio. Oh man, where's our coffee shop? Our coffee shop's up there on the left. 
we got to cross this one major intersection. One thing about it, if you're going to come to Merlin and Holmes County, you've got to go to at least one cheese factory. And we've gone to one that we really liked the last time. We've showed you the other one. This is Mrs. Yoder's. We went there the last time at eight. It was recommended by one of the Amish men in Berlin uh, for being the best. And this again is in Mount Hope, which is, all of this is just literally miles away from Berlin. Again, Berlin being sort of the center and the epicenter of all there is to do and see here with regard to the Amish country. I'm here at the Amish and Mennonite Heritage Center i seen this online. We've never been in here, and I'm not even sure if they're open, really. They have tours. The video runs every 15 minutes, okay. They're just closing. I don't think we're gonna have the chance to do this this uh, trip, but if you're interested in Amish history, where they came from, how they landed here in the United States, and maybe even how they got in here to Ohio and settled in this part of the country, this is your ticket right here. I would highly recommend it. This also, again, is right in the little town of Berlin, and you can't miss it. Look it up. Look it up. Alright folks, if you don't come out on one of these country roads, if you ever come to Charm and Berlin and Millersburg and Walnut Creek, if you don't come on one of these one of these gravel roads and just drive around and take a look, you have really missed the point. You know, the one thing that I'd love to see is how they do it during the winter time. That would be fascinating, wouldn't it? Maybe you've seen that. Long ways from those cattle folks.
I guess this restaurant, you could easily say, has the bragging rights of the absolute best view of any restaurant here in the area. Look at that behind me there. We're trying a brand new one. Bringing you along, Dear Dutchman, or Der, Der, Der Dutchman. I don't know how they would actually say it. I don't know. So I got peanut butter pie, and it looks so good. It's got like this graham cracker on top. It's like delicious looking. So this one I got, and then Nathan got a lemon meringue pie. So this came with our meal, a slice of pie. So that's why we got it, because we're real full. We wouldn't have probably. <laughs> Get mommies. Oh, wood fire smoke. You know who would love this? It says, My chickens think I'm amazing. Guess. Bonnie. Aunt Bonnie. <laughs> she, she'd love this mug. It's another day. We had about three hours this morning to enjoy Berlin and we're actually in Walnut Creek which is just a few miles away from Berlin right now. We're checking out this sort of grocery and gift shop place. Cheyenne's already been shopping in Berlin. I went over as I showed you yesterday I went into the Amish and Mennonite heritage site and uh, took a tour enjoyed that immensely so I'll say again if you are interested in learning more about the Amish and the Mennonite and their way of life, that's a must-see. The Amish have their roots in Switzerland. They were originally the Anabaptists. They came to America to seek refuge and peace. Spiced Latin butter churn. Smell. Wow, that's it's only $10. really good. <laughs> okay, so we just walked into the big cheese store and it's really more than just cheese. It's, it's gifts, it's everything you could ever imagine is in this place. It's really, really cool. We've got to hit the road. We've got to hit the road, Jack, and this is going to conclude our video. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope that we passed along some information so that you would be more prepared when you come. Hopefully we painted a picture that would convince you you need to come to. It's so relaxing. If you've been to Pennsylvania's Amish country, we highly advise you come to Ohio. Yeah, and you'll want to spend at least five days. <laughs> There's so much you can do. It's we just rushed and tried to do as much as we could, but it would been so nice if we could have just had, like, done one thing each day and just would have been so nice and relaxing <laughs> but it is relaxing anyway. we crammed a lot we in just yesterday did a lot <laughs> we did too much but we wanted to all right everybody so this is going to be our little sign off so we hope that you enjoy the video until next time bye guys god bless <laughs>